painting still life can be so much fun, especially when the objects you're painting mean something to you. Really, anything can be put into a still life. It can be fruit, vegetables, flowers, shells, sticks, anything that you find outside and you want to bring in and paint close up. Even a leaf can make a wonderful still life. What I'm going to be painting today are these really wonderful, these are Vietnam combat boots that I borrowed from the Yorktown Museum. And I love these. I love the texturing. They're so worn and they obviously they have a story to tell. And I think even in your still life, you can be telling your own story. So I've got my paper drawn out. I've sort of lightly sketched it, but now I'm going to really draw it in so you can see uh, how, I'm, how I go about drawing. And what I think about first is my big shape, the overall shape. And you can see that I've positioned the boots slightly off center here. So they make almost an L shape, which is always an interesting composition in itself. And the way that just rounds up over that toe, comes in like that, love that right there. And then the other boot here, the one that's slightly forward, and you can see too that I've, I've overlapped them, I've connected them so that they form this one big interesting shape but clearly one boot is in front of the other. I like the way they kind of flop over there. So I've got this sort of outline overall shape and you can see how it, how it sits right there on the paper. So there is the basic outline of the overall shape. And that's what you want to get first in all of your drawings, regardless whatever it is that you're going to want to paint. You want to get that big overall shape first, and then you come into your smaller shapes. Now I've got a, a light off to the side on it, which is casting a slight shadow here, uh, and then the light is hitting the toes right there. We can see the, the, the shoe laces coming across. Here's one there one here, and then a group from here coming around, and they all kind of come together and tangle as they come across the, the toe there and then come together in a knot down in here. So I'm just using the tip of the pencil there, drawing lightly. And if I make a mistake, I just simply use this kneaded eraser to erase my pencil line. But when you draw, try and draw it once and as accurately as you can. To, to try not to draw a lot of little sketchy lines. Try and draw one line and get it right. And if it's not right, that's okay. You just erase it and keep on going. So here's the basic shape up in here. Now I start drawing in some of the details of it. Some of the stitching, some of the the little holes that the lace, uh, the, uh, the little holes that the shoelaces come through. There they are there. And then I notice that these down in here, these are going to drop into shadow. I'm hardly able be able to see those. So some things come out into the light. I've actually got the two light sources here. I've got the source of a, a light just off stage here. You can't really see it. It's a little spotlight. And then I've got the window light. And so up above these boots, uh, there is a window. That's, uh, it's actually it's an eastern window, and it gets this nice, cool light, especially in the morning. And I can see that wonderful kind of blue light, especially on the toes of the boots. Here's a shadow area in here. Here's some sort of stitching back in here that I'll put in some of that detail. in there, and then I want to make sure I get this nice light struck area in here. There's a little bit of that shoelace. Here's another one in here. They don't have to be exact. We just want to tell the viewer that they're draped over the toe of the boot, and then they land here on the ground here in sort of a, a knot right about there. And from the window, I can see that the boots are, are 
cast, the boots are casting a slight cast shadow. Do you see that right there? And one under here. And there's another shadow too. Do you see this coming right off the boot that way over there? So there's a couple of different shadows here. We've got our main light over here and then our secondary light here. So I'm drawing out too, I, I draw out the little light shapes. You see that little light shape right there? There's a little light shape right in there. The light is going to skip right on the edge right there. And then this whole area is in shadow and then this toe of the boot comes back out into the light here. So that's what we do as artists. What we're doing is we're drawing light on form. It can be the form of beats or boots or a face. It could be really anything. But we're, what we're doing is we're describing the light on form. And here's that back heel right in there. So there's my drawing of, of the boots. Uh, I've got my shapes, my big shape and my smaller shapes. And now I'm ready to start painting.